In today's video, you will learn three simple methods to lower your input latency in Valorant. I made a video 11 months ago on the same topic, but I wanted to make an update, so let's not waste no time and get into the video. So what you want to do for the first step is, you want to head over to your Windows tab and you want to type in run. And once you type in run, you want to run the run application. Then once you run the run application, you want to type in this command. Then once you type it in, you want to head over to the HC local machine and you want to head over to system. Then you want to head over to current control set. Once you click on that, you want to head over to control and you want to scroll all the way down and you want to find session manager. Then once you find session manager, you want to click on it and you want to head over to power. Then on your right hand side, you want to scroll all the way down and you want to head over to the, the lower blank and you want to right click on there and you want to head over to new. Click on DWORD 32 bit value and you want to type out this command. I will leave this command in the description so you can copy and paste it. Then once you're done with that, you want to move on to the next step. So for the next step, you want to go ahead and open up your file explorer. Then you want to head over to this PC, local disk, and you want to find your Riot Games file. Once you find your Riot Games file, you want to click on head over to Valorant Live. And you want to right click on Valorant.exe, head over to properties. And you want to click on the compatibility tab and click on disable full screen optimization. Then you want to head over to change high DPI settings. Click on that. And you want to tick the box override high dpi scanning behavior then once you're done with that you want to click ok and you want to save all the settings now one important step that i did not mention in the last video was to turn off your vc turning off the setting will lower your latency by a lot so for the last step what you want to do is head over to your valorant head over to settings you want to click on settings and you want to make your way all the way to raw input buffer and you want to turn on your raw input buffer but anyway that was the end of this video if you found this video helpful please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks just like this you can also watch this video to boost your fps invalidant.